in 2016. We were living in El Salvador at the time doing mission work. Jim Bob had just got the show back up and going with Jill and Jessica counting on. We're sitting in our new home in Central America. We're so blessed to be here with our little family. TLC was pressing us about coming back for a shoot. To call Jill and Jessica counting on, you can't not come. Like, we have to do this. We and said, the pressure was on. news to us, like, why are you so surprised that we can't come? We said, like, we're here for 10 months. You guys have been coming down here filming us. Now it's a matter of principle, like, we're gonna be here. <laughs> That was like the first time that we really put our foot down and said no. I've never said no to my family before and just been like, no, no, no. We cannot do what you're asking us to do. And it was one of those like aha moments for us that basically they're like, well, you have to. My dad sends us the signature page along with like just the obligation section of the contract. I was like, somebody forged my signature, I'm sure of it. And then I look at it and I'm like, that is my signature. And that's when we realized like that I had signed this the day before we got married. So exciting. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, I remember that. That's not what I thought I was signing. We never gave our word that we're generally gonna be committed to anything. This was fraud. And I'm freaking out because now we're aware of this contract. Like, does it hold any water? Like, are we going to get off the plane and like they're going to arrest us because we like violated something? Because if we're giving up something, then we should get something in return. Jim Bob said, well, what do you want? Like, you know, $10 an hour? And I said, I don't know. What's it worth? He's like, well, what's your price? I said, what's it worth? He goes, what's your price? What's it worth? He's like, oh, I can pay you $10 an hour. That's when we asked to talk to TLC. Chad said Chad something about- Chad reached out, he said, you can't talk to them without me on the Without me on there because the contract's not with you, it's through your dad and like, I'm his representative, so like, I have to be involved in these conversations. And we were not able to talk to TLC. Yeah, honestly, they probably would think if you have a problem with it, you'd speak up, but it's not the boat that I was in. Family relies on food banks. We have Jill Duggar, who is saying she never made a dime, that she even had to, at one point, rely on food banks to help feed her family. Around that time, my dad said, thanks to Derek, I'm gonna go ahead and pay some people, pay some of the older kids, a lump sum. He said, some of the boys are getting to the point where they wanna start businesses and stuff, so I think it's like good timing and blah, blah, blah. The amount that he ended up paying in a lump sum to each person, I don't think it would be a coincidence that that would be very close to what minimum wage would be up to 18. But in order to receive that, you had to sign another deal with my dad, his production company, Mad Family Inc. It would be like forever. We were automatically like, we're done. We found out on social media that our relationship, if we ever had a relationship with TLC, came to an end at that time. It was a difficult decision, but something that we knew like we really needed to do for our family. Do you regret leaving the show? Oh. No, we're not on the best terms with some of my family. Um, we've had some disagreements and stuff. We don't want to just be like, oh, they're sorry, so we should just move on and yeah. everything's okay and basically nothing changed. It's obviously hard when there's continued stuff happening. I got threats like someone reached out anonymously on a very lengthy text message. It was just bizarre. Somebody who claimed to be a true friend, why are you anonymous using a burner phone then? He Did wants- Did Jim Bob send you that text message? I, I don't know, I can't speculate. I don't think so. I did report it to the police department and shared exactly like what the threat was. It's just like this whole culture, I don't know if the fear and lack of trust. Disobedience doesn't mean dishonor. Like you're dishonoring me just because you don't agree exactly with what I think. We don't bless what you're doing, what so you therefore do. you have to do what we want you to do. Honor and respect and obey were all on the same level back then.